Hey there, I don't know if you need to hear this message, but I've got to remind myself of this every day, all day. Did you know that you are a spiritual being having a spiritual experience in a human body? Now that is more than a notion when I first heard that. That means that you and I are extensions of source energy. We are expressions of God. And it means that we live in this very complicated, very complex system called being a human being. And if you are at all like me, there tends to be an inner critic that lives inside of me who all day wants to just and she, that inner critic that lives inside of me, is afraid of everything. She is afraid of her own shadow. She is afraid of standing in her light. She is afraid of embracing her brilliance. She is afraid of expressing her genius. And I don't know about you, but I cannot afford for that inner critic to run my show because life from her lens is pretty gray. I have been in the shadows of her reality. So I have to proactively do a whole host of things to help myself remember that I am a spiritual being, that God breathes life through me. And this is a mind cluster, okay, to remember that because there's so much happening in our daily lives that indicate the opposite. There is such fear-based thinking in our human world, which makes sense because we are animals, right? We have the instinct of an animal, which means our main purpose is to stay alive. And so fear very much helps us stay alive. It's very scary to raise your hand in a meeting and have your voice be heard because the ego self knows that there is the potential or the possibility of being rejected or judged or criticized or what will they think or how will you be perceived or what will happen to you if you you know step out there and, and have your voice be heard. That is translated by your nervous system the same exact way as lions, bears, and tigers jumping out from the bush, all right? So fear is part of our everyday human context and experience, yet the mere fact that you are a spiritual being and I am a spiritual being means that we can rise above our human tendencies and really tap into the spiritual essence of who we are. One of the tools that helps me do that on a consistent basis is the daily word. So I wanna share with you today's daily word message. The topic is fearless. And today is Wednesday, December 1st, 2021. The affirmation is, within God, I stand fearless. In the past, I may have believed fear would keep me safe and alert to danger. I understand now that fear siphons my energy and causes me to shrink from the fullness of life. My safety is in my awareness. Unlike fear, awareness keeps me present and responsive. I pay attention to fearful feelings and tune into the messages my distress is sending me. Any fear I feel may inform my awareness, but it does not control my actions. I remember there is no place I can be where God is not. No situation I ever face alone. God isn't just with me, God is within me. 
Embracing this divine protection, I am fearless, knowing all strength, support, wisdom, and love are mine in every moment of every day. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. 2 Timothy 1, 7. So here's just an additional thing I want to really add um, to this today's inspired conversation, which is you are not alone in your feelings of fear. We all feel feelings of fear. But what this message speaks to my heart about is any fear I feel may inform my awareness. The fear I feel, feel will inform my consciousness. I'm afraid of that thing. That terrifies me. That makes me uncomfortable. That's pushing my edge. Great, great information. And one of the things that I help my clients do is to tap into that. Oh shit, I'm afraid of that thing. I didn't even know it. Okay, but here's the key. But it, fear, does not control my actions. Feeling the fear and doing it anyway. You are a divine spiritual being. I am, I claim it. I am a divine spiritual being. I am and you are having a spiritual journey. In this complicated, complex, very limited, very limited human experience. Five senses, that's all we have. Your dog, if you have a dog, your dog hears vibrations that your ears will never pick up. Think about how limited we are in this human earth suit. Rise above fear. Claim your spiritual divinity and walk in your light. See you soon.